How's it going YouTube? Chris here with my home theater. Got a brand new video for you today. I'm excited about this video that you're about to see. Been planning it for a while. I uh, did a home theater tour a few weeks ago. Uh, as I started to kind of really focus on my channel and really wanted to build this theater, I did videos as I went. So everybody got to see the build process. So all you got to see was kind of the end result of that day as I kind of showed what I did that day. So this video is gonna focus more on pictures that I took while I was going. There'll be some stuff uh, in the video, that, uh, pictures that you didn't see in uh, previous videos I did. Some of the things that are, you know, just how I did things. So I hope you enjoy the video. Stay and uh, through it. I'll kind of talk you through the pictures and just kind of give you a little commentary on it. And I hope everybody enjoys it. And uh, we'll talk again at the end of the video. Okay, guys, so here's my room, what it looked like before. Shot several videos of it like that. Then it was time for the change. As you can see, this room was in bad shape. Not necessarily bad shape, but for home theater, it was in bad shape. Full of vinyl, full of windows, which I had made them panels that you see on the back wall there. That's actually the front of the house. That's the back of the house. And that's the back of the house you see there. So we, you know, tore everything out. And of course we had to tear the vinyl off the front and uh, to get these windows out. And boy, that was a, such a job. Had my son not helped me, we still would be there tearing these windows out, I would think. So yeah, we had to tear the windows out. I had to frame up inside there. Had to cut the uh, OSB for the outside. It was, it was just a lot of work. And I insulated as it went. The rest of the wall had insulation in it. I definitely checked before I, I went any further. So everything in behind. What was already up there had insulation. Went ahead and run some speaker wire. Just added insulation as I went. So here we putting the uh, vinyl up. Got all the windows out on the back side of the house. Got all the vinyl up. So then I went and bought this door. And that door had a little damage on it. It was a $200 door. I got it for 90 bucks. So I, I can't argue with that. Steel door. So we took a window out and I put it, the door in the spot that the window was there. So all I had to do was, you know, cut the floor out. So it made it real simple just to put the door there. So we took the rest of the windows out and here we are. Just putting it back up and we took the sliders out. And then we finished it up. I'll tell you, that was a job. But there you go, that's the outside pretty much being done. So then we want to frame up this wall here. You know, that wall is uh, the interior wall of the house, which used to be the outside uh, exterior wall before they built this, this sunroom, this porch. So we had to frame up, we had to frame up around the uh, chimney and uh, all of those studs are 10 foot. And there's me, I put a light in there. There was no there was no power in this room other than three ceiling fans and one uh one light beside the door. So there, there was a lot of work involved and in running power out here. I think I ended up running about four hundred or so feet of speaker uh well, probably about four or five hundred feet of speaker wire, but power wire probably about four hundred feet or so. I put power receptacles and stuff where everywhere. So we insulated the uh Interior portion of the wall also, uh, which would be for the interior part of the house. So I did all insulation in there, uh, pretty much for sound absorbent. We put that thing around the chimney. And there's the front of the house. So that's where the stage area is going to go. And there's my dog, Spartan. Great dog. Best dog we ever owned. So I'm building the uh, platform here. It's two by tens. That's uh, one piece for the front and the back. And then I just kind of notched it out. Should have made it stronger. And uh, as you can see here, we're just still doing it on 16 center. It's two by tens all the way. I mean, I, but you don't see insulation in there. I actually had to go back and insulate it before they put the carpet in. And I didn't have that in the pictures, uh, but, that, but that platform is insulated. Like I said, I didn't do it at that time. So it was a real job to do that. And I got that done before they put the carpet in. So here we go framing up the uh, 
front area here. I kind of did away with that little drop down back there. I couldn't do away with it in the back. So I built it out. There's my buddy. That's my wife's dog. He's, he's a good little, good little dog. His name's Thor, as you can see. But we're building this area here and we're getting this going. Just building up this stage area. See, I left uh, the windows in the front of the house and left the covers on them so the uh, so the front of the house wouldn't look plain with just vinyl siding on it. So here we go. Here's the back of the room again. And I'm just amazed at how fast this went. And I mean, I, as you can see, at every so often there's a time stamp, and that is, and there was days, there was days that elapsed that I didn't do anything. Uh, whether we went to church or had something else to do, we spent some time together, went out to eat or whatever. But, you know, most of the days that there was a lot got done, uh, I was off actually from work because of COVID-19. So I think there was two to three weeks in this time period from the whole build that I was off. And, uh, I'm telling you, I got the most done in those in those weeks. I just could I still can't believe when I was putting this video together, I was looking at my the timestamps on the pictures, the dates and stuff, and I was still just blown away at how fast this progressed. I mean, me basically just working by myself. As you can see, my son helped me take the windows out, but you know, I hung the sheetrock, except the ones on the ceiling. I think my wife helped me hang a sheet or two, as you can see in these pictures, and then the rest uh my oldest son helped me and he's not he's not in any of the pictures but but pretty much i've done everything else and uh it took a few days to get this hung because i had to wait to where he could help me and keep him home he's 19 years old so he's he's running up down the road when he ain't working so but we're getting it done and as you can see we're and there's why i got my projector man that that was an awesome projector, and I projected it on the back wall, and I wish I hadn't have done that because that, that's about a 16-foot picture, and I've been disappointed ever since with my 150 inches versus a 16-foot, but here was framing up the steps, making it, trying to make it look better so they could uh, put carpet on them and paint the sides and all, so. And uh, we're drawing, getting close to being done with this sheetrock. Just still can't believe how fast it went. And uh, there's my daughter. She helped me. She come out here one day. She told me, she said, Daddy, I want to help you. She said, you, you've been working hard out here. I want to help you move some stuff around. She actually helped me move some stuff around. Such a blessing. My daughter's such a blessing. And as you can see later on, she helped me do something else. And I'll wait till that, till that gets to that point. So we've got some speakers up, sheet rocks up, got some, got some equipment in. Man, I had some stuff hooked up and played uh, about the whole time that I was working in here. Just kept something going and uh, testing stuff out. Just just really enjoying myself while I was doing this build. And uh, there's my Polk Audio speaker that came in. And it's just just, just random pictures showing the sheetrock, the progress, and the, and the mud. And I actually did two rounds of mudding and sanding and you that that should be coming up real soon and uh, we'll we'll get to that and there's some screen that came in as you can see it was damaged there the box so when i opened it up it nicked the uh the velvet i kept the screen it don't bother me it's no big deal it wasn't uh silver ticket products his fault it was a uh, ups or fedex and uh, there's the first projection on the screen. Just absolutely loved it. My, my daughter sat out here and watched uh, Frozen 2 that night. She wanted to see something on it, so I let her watch something on it. So now we're putting the screen up. I, I actually loaded that, put that screen up by myself. I put it together, hung it up by myself. So now we got a picture showing on the screen as it's hung up. And I have my level on the top if you saw it in that other picture, trying to get it level. Make sure everything's square. Got my hinges on it. Just cannot believe how fast this was actually going there. Framing out the bottom on it. 
Started framing out the sides and the top. I mean, if I had if I had to do over again, I'd do some things different. But you know, it's just I'm happy with the way it turned out. I'm very pleased. There's a uh, the Hobbit framed it out. There we go. Some some more pictures. Just getting ready. Getting real close. There's some more equipment in. So here we go. We're building the doors now. More pictures. I really, I, I used that screen. There's my little lights that came in. Put them on the wall. Wasn't sure if we were going to keep them. Ended up keeping them. Really like them, man. And this right here hit a live wire. Thought I had it turned off and it didn't. Scared me to death. And there's my door up. I got the door up. Open it up. See what it looks like. Please got one side up. Matrix. Love the Matrix. All right. That's a lie. Dust control. And you'll see as we go here. It's my first day of sanding. And it just kept getting worse. And worse. <laughs> and worse. That didn't help. <laughs> and then I think this is right in between the next day. Right, here we go. So then we go to the next morning, another round of sanding coming up. And here we go. Sanding. Oh, this was awful. This was the final sand. It was terrible. It was terrible. So then we start painting. Started painting in the ceiling. I had to brush the walls off, brush the ceiling off. Then I had to uh, put fans up to, to blow all the dust out of here to keep the dust off the walls. And here we are painting the speakers and the grills. And, uh, and I kind of put things up as I went. There's my, there's my lights or something hanging down. Now I took this light and I'll show you what I did here in a minute. So I went to my computer and I measured the interior part of the light and I put a decal on it. So then I carried it out and painted all of it. Then when it dried, I peeled the decal off. So there you go. So now when you turn the lights off, the only part that you really can see if you're looking is just the, the interior part of the actual light and it don't stand out. So. But that's just something I wanted to do. Did I have to do that? No, but I did. And there's my speakers mounted. And here we go. We're going to start painting the walls now. My wife picked out the color for the walls. She did a fantastic job. Really like this color. Right off the top of my head, I cannot remember what this color is. It's gray. But I love it. And, and uh, it, it really matched well in here. So there's all the walls painted. Looks really good. I'm pleased with it. So then I start painting the trim. Now I do know that that is, uh, oh, what is that? Muted ebony. That is the trim. And it just blended so good with the, uh, with everything. I was real pleased with that. So all the trim's done. There we go. We're going to show some more pictures of it. I'm just really tickled with how good that projector does. It's a 50, 20, 5 UB Epson. I really like it, man. I think I think it's phenomenal. To be a 1080p projector, it's good. It's awesome. So just more pictures, more pictures, just kind of showing things as we go. And uh Yeah. Just continuing on. So there's what my daughter wanted to do. She wanted to paint. So I let her paint behind the screen. So there she goes. She, she's getting with it. She's done a real good job. <laughs> she's such a sweetheart. So then, more pictures. And I'm really pleased how this come out, man. It, it just it turned out so good. So once that's dried, then we can kind of open up these speakers. We can put the equipment in. I already got my speakers up in the back. Projectors. Had been on been on the ceiling since I, after I got done painting it. Just more pictures of that, so we should have the equipment in there. Got my lights up. Rest of the lights up. 
And now the equipment's going in. And I love these Polk Audio RTI 89s. They are phenomenal. There's my lights turned on. There's another. That's Venom. Great movie. So, finally got the other door done. Hadn't got it painted yet. Had, had trouble with that door for some reason. But we finally got all the bugs worked out of it. Still going here. Just got things clean. Turned a bucket of paint over, as you can see, on the platform there. But that was floored there. So I painted inside of that. Got the equipment in. That's the final assembly for the equipment. Everything is in. And I got my chairs. Man, I drove all the way to Georgia. Four and a half hours one way. And I didn't mind it for what I paid for them chairs. Bought nine chairs for $900. $100 a chair. Now I'm building acoustic panels. I got the insulated in them. I covered them. I didn't show all that. I just kind of took pictures as a done a few things and then hung them on the wall. Pleased how they look, how they turned out. So there's my little panels that I made. And then I just showed them on the wall. They're built the same way. Real pleased how everything's turned out so far. And just another shot of the front. As you can see, I had that door painted and started doing some decorations as things started opening back up to stores and more decoration. Really love the Batman logo and the exit sign. And there's my air vent. Got one air vent out here. Definitely got to put another one. It's coming soon, but it is absolutely too hot here. All right, there's the guys stalling my carpet. They did a phenomenal job. I'm very pleased with what they did. Well worth the money. And here we go. There's the padding down. They're already putting the carpet in. Man, I'm telling you, these guys did great. And that's what the carpet looks like. And then there's my little Pictures from my little tour that I did after they got done. I got my chairs in and real pleased with what, what they did and how it turned out. And uh, just absolutely excited. Excited. This, this theater was 30 years in the making. I've been wanting one for a long time. And uh, finally got it. I was, I'm real pleased. And getting into the short rows here with the decorations, just kind of the final steps here, what we got. And uh, real pleased how it come out. And, uh, yep, definitely, definitely pleased. It's just hard, hard for me to express how it came out. Well, that's just about it, guys. I appreciate you checking it out. And we'll come back here in just a second. All right, guys. Man, I hope everybody enjoyed my little tour that I did as, as I built and the pictures that I showed, kind of behind the scenes and maybe some things that I did. I hope everybody enjoyed that. There's more to come. There's definitely more to come. Like I say, this video I've been wanting to do for a while took me a while to figure out how to do it and how to get it done, but I hope everybody enjoyed it. Please like the video. Uh, that will help me uh, in the future and it'll help me now. Please like it. If you hadn't subscribed and you just run across my channel, hey, subscribe to my channel. Share this video with somebody that you know. And, uh, and I'm telling you, we're still striving to get 1,000 subscribers, up to about 619 right now. So I'm, I'm getting closer and I want to give away this uh, mini DSPU mic. Guys, you help me out and we'll give this mic away. And uh, man, I hope you, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope everybody has a good week. May try to do another video, squeeze another video in this week. But uh, see you again real soon.